Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, and State Farm. As automakers look for new ways to showcase their vehicles, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas is becoming an increasingly important stage. Chinese automaker Byton made some eyeballs pop with their 48-inch screen that stretches across the dashboard of their first production model, the Byton m -Byte electric SUV. Continental's transparent hood can show what's rolling underneath. Bosch is bringing the sun visor into the 21st century. It tracks the sun's shadow, keeping it over the driver's eyes while allowing a clear view of the road. The Hyundai SA1 is elevating ride sharing. They're teaming up with Uber to produce air taxis that will eventually fly themselves. Jeep is officially bringing plug-in hybrid power to the Wrangler, Renegade and Compass. Their new 4XE sub-brand plans electrification for all models by 2022. The Fisker Ocean all-electric luxury SUV arrived with a starting price just under $30,000 with federal tax credits. The Mercedes-Benz Vision AVTR concept eliminates the steering wheel with the driver placing their hand on the center console to activate the car. The Audi Amy is a fully automated car that reads eye movements to receive commands. The Four Ring brand's vision of the future also includes a 3D head-up display. The BMW i3 Urban Suite gives the passenger plenty of room to stretch out, while zero-g lounger seats recline up to 60 degrees in the BMW X7. Honda's augmented driving concept features more than eight drive modes between semi-autonomous and fully autonomous operation. And Toyota will build a prototype city of the future in Japan to research new technology in real-life situations. So for advanced automotive technology, it's full speed ahead. And that wraps up this week's Motor News.